to bless me again and uh, people of Bangalore are going to hit a sixer of development and good governance by selecting me, by electing me and Narendra Modi. Your opponent is saying that people want change. What change is he talking about? People definitely want change, but they want change at the center. They want to change the bad governance of Manmohan Singh, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi led Congress. And uh, this is no municipality elections. These are national elections, parliament elections. And uh, in parliament elections, people are going to elect a new prime minister and a new government. And uh, people of Bengaluru, an enlightened uh, citizens of Bangalore, they feel that uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Anand Kumar combination can bring, could bring so, so much of good news from Metro International, uh, Kempegoda International Airport and uh, Kaveri Water and other things to Bangalore. Uh, Narendra Modi and Anand Kumar combination can bring much more good news to Bengal. Well, uh, Anand Kumar going ahead and expressing confidence in uh, the BJP's hopes there, uh, but of course it won't be easy for him, five-time MP, but uh, that uh, doesn't look like it will help him go ahead and get a sixth term. But once again, taking a look at uh, all those who turned up uh, to go ahead and uh, cast uh, their vote. So far, uh, we have seen leaders from across the state going ahead and casting their votes in the first half itself of uh, the day. So, of course, it is definitely very, very uh, inspiring and a great uh, source of encouragement uh, for uh, the people there to go out and cast their votes. It is, of course, an all-important day uh, for all uh, the leaders, for all the political leaders there. So they have ensured that they go ahead and exp uh, express their right to go ahead and vote. Whatever that may be, great. but they have to run their campaign. The BJP has made this uh, they, they may run, they may, they may, they may run a negative campaign. Uh, they may do whatever they like. I believe in positivity in life, and I've tried to run a very positive campaign. Uh, and we will see the outcome of that on the 16th of May. Jai Bhan Singh Pavaiya was the one who gave you a fight with your father in the Gwalior. Is this a fight with your father and your father? His welcome is here, as I said, that our country is a very old country. The Atithi Devo Bhavo's country is a very old country. The Atithi Devo Bhavo's country is a very old country. The Atithi Devo Bhavo's country has also done his service. मुझे विश्वास है कि आज उनकी बधाई भी की जाए मोदी की लहर है मोदी की लहर मोदी की लहर के आप कितने I don't know how many days you been here you been here for a week have you seen a Modi lahar बीजेपी ने बोला नॉट इन गुना but I'm you're in गुना with me right now so have you seen a Modi lahar I want to know it from you नहीं नहीं पर जनता I think if I if I if I if I say something you will ascribe it to a political reason I think the most neutral observer would be you and I think you've given me your answer. Mr. Sindhya, why should the people of Guna vote you in power for a fourth consecutive term? Why should they vote for you again? Well, I think if you come around with me in my constituency, uh, and I think if you see the development that has been done, then I don't think you'll ask me that question. But as a uh, uh, commentator and a reporter, I think it's your duty to ask me that question. So I think the plain and simple answer to that is that the record of development in this area uh, and I'm coming back to the people with not a 12-year record. I'm coming back to the people with purely only a 5-year record. I can even come back with a 12-year record. Uh, but in the last 12 years, we bought about 23,000 crores worth of projects here. In the last five years, about 9,000 crores. Uh, if you come with me to rural Guna and Shipuri, you'll probably not see the quality of roads that you see here anywhere else in the state. If you look at the development in terms of uh, electricity, in terms of uh, national and international institutions, that have been set up here, uh, whether it's in Guna, whether it's in Shipuri, whether it's in Ashoknagar. Right. So my my uh, purpose in politics is very simple. It's mm -hmm. development and progress. That's my uh, single point agenda. All right, development and, that, and, and that's what about anti-incumbency and the huge perception about corruption that your well, party is facing? Uh, well, I really believe that uh, incumbency or anti-incumbency is uh, in many ways a reflection of uh, your connect with the people. I believe I have a very strong connect to the people here. What about the Congress but party? I think, but I, but I think the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Uh, it will be too presumptuous of me to uh, make that comment so vociferously today. Uh, I think we'll have to see what happens at the end of polling and on the 16th of May. But I'm very confident that uh, my 
five year track record and my 12 year track record will bear me fruit. Uh, there's not been a single month in the last 12 years that I haven't been in my constituency. My only answer to that is what happened with with Shushma Swaraji yesterday. And I think uh, I made that very clear to all the people who were there that if I had known that she was coming, if no one else from the BJP had received her, I would have certainly gone and received her because at the end of the day she was a guest in my constituency. And I think that uh, smacks of the real uh, qualities of the party and the candidate here that the leader of the opposition of this country was not even received by them at the Shipuri Halipad. She very clearly mentioned that before she left here in anguish. Sir, we spoke about, about, about the, the Congress in the night too. Your aunt basically, Shudra is India, yes. she had come to yes. vote. The view. Well, that was uh, the Guna MP as well as Union Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, who is facing Jaibhan Singh for why of the BJP in Guna, who is believed to give him a tough fight going on to exude confidence, speaking about the constituency, speaking about his electoral prospects, and also going on to speak about the importance of uh, voting. On the other hand, even though uh, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya is a noted person from uh, what is known as a Rahul Gandhi Youth Brigade, another noted person is uh, Rizwan. Arshad Rizwan, who is the Bangalore Central candidate, and he cast his vote just a few minutes back. My colleague uh, Nabila caught up with him. Let's listen. Uh, Congress candidate uh, Rizwan Arshad, uh, standing from Bangalore Central, is going to cast his vote. Let's uh, see what the excitement is like from Rizwan and his wife. Rizwan, what does it feel, uh, you know, going and casting vote yourself? Uh, voting is one's uh, basic right uh, in a democracy, and it's a participative democracy. We have to strengthen democracy. We are one of the largest democracies in the world. Proud to be a voter. Proud to be part of such a huge democracy. How are you using your social responsibility to create awareness and invite people to come and vote? Everyone needs to go out and vote. Whomever they vote, it's, a diff it's a altogether a different matter. It's a matter of choice. But they need to exercise their franchise. I myself would want 100% uh, of Bangalore Central to vote. Right. You know, uh, only then the true winner will emerge. A true uh, 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 candidate who has gained the confidence of people will emerge. So I request the Bangalore Central Parliament uh, voters to come out in huge numbers and do uh, you know voting in voting in absolute terms. There you go, Rizwan and his wife going uh, just about going to the polling booth to cast their vote. With camera person Balaji, this is Nabila for News Nine. Nabila, they're catching up with uh, Rizwana Arshad, who was also urging the people to come out and vote, uh, stating that, of course, uh, it is uh, very, very important that the people come out and uh, vote uh, today. But, uh, of course, uh, uh, several uh, big wigs, several political leaders also going ahead and casting their vote. Their Mudra uh, Ruth Manur uh, uh, Rama also going ahead and casting her vote. Uh, she is, of course, from uh, the JDS and uh, representing the Bangalore South constituency. Well, we'll slip into a short break at this point. On the other side, updates will continue. Stay tuned. Back while you're tra we're tracking the elections right here on the News 9, and some noted personalities, including the Netas, came in to cast their vote. Well, uh, to name a few, of course, uh, Bache Gowda, uh, the candidate from Chikbalapur for BJP, going ahead and for, uh, casting his vote. Yadiyurappa was one of uh, the early few there, one of the first few politicians to go ahead and cast his vote uh, from uh, Shikaripura in Shimoga. Besides which, uh, Suresh Angadi from Belagavi was seen uh, with his entire family there going ahead and casting his vote, uh, ever smiling, Sadananda Gauda once again had a smile to spare to all the people there uh, gathered at the poll booth where he did go ahead and cast his uh, vote. He was seen with his wife as well. And of course, uh, Pramod Mutalik, the controversial Sri Ramasini chief, who is contesting elections uh, from Dharwad as well as Bangalore South, uh, seen casting his vote. He is hoping uh, to give the BJP a big upset in at least these two constituencies. Prahla Joshi, on the other hand, who was also contesting from Dharwad, was spotted casting his vote soon after Mutalik. Nina Naik also, after some initial confusion on uh, her polling booth, 
finally managed to cast her vote. Uh, she is, of course, contesting from uh, that much talked about Bangalore South constituency. And lastly, of course, uh, a former Infosys CFO also going on and casting his vote. Some other politicians also, uh, Mandya MP Ramya, uh, completely excited in her usual spirit itself, going ahead and casting her vote. Uh, Nalin Kumar Katila also of uh, from uh, Dakshina Kannada casting his vote in Bangalore. Veera Pamoyli along with his uh, wife was in uh, casting his vote uh, and uh, besides that uh, Anand Kumar and several other leaders were also seen including Nandan Nilkani casting uh, their votes. Uh, so political leaders ensuring uh, that they come out uh, during uh, the first half of the day and uh, complete the necessities go ahead and cast their votes. It is of course a D-Day for all these netas. Today is of course uh, the day that all their hard work will culminate to and uh, of course, uh, they will be hoping that all of their hard work will pay off. Uh, they themselves making their way to polling booths uh, with their family members and casting their vote. That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, Sadan the Gowda comes from the Bangalore North constituency. In fact, he's contesting from the Bangalore North constituency. He just cast his vote in um, Mangalore. And uh, in Bangalore North, he faces Narayana Swami of the Congress as well as uh, he faces Babu Matthew of the Amadi Party. Well, Akshita, you toured Bangalore North constituency. You interacted with the people there. You interacted with the common man, the absolute voters, whom probably no one asks what their opinion is, but they are the ones who actually eventually decide the fate of these politicians. What was the feel like? What exactly did they want from their next leader? Well, uh, Nishita, we all know that, of course, uh, Bangalore North, there's a lot of talk about the kind of development in that area. Several people stating that it is uh, the, one of the fastest growing areas of the city. So several people have been talking about the same. In fact, as part of our series from the battlefield, I was out there interacting with the people, interacting with the citizens and the common man there uh, across different classes. Uh, we spoke to morning walkers. Uh, we spoke to residents in the area. We even went uh, to the less developed areas and spoke to them and all of them stated that while there is a development on a large scale, it doesn't reach them. At the end of the day, they still face the basic problems of water woes, of uh, electricity, of better roads, and the usual uh, basic infrastructure needs. Uh, that is not provided. But while uh, there is a lot of development uh, on a whole, uh, which when you see high-rise buildings in the area, uh, you see a lot of that taking place. But it doesn't seep down to the common man is what they went on to state. And uh, several of them did, of course, state that they were satisfied but wanted a lot more. Absolutely. Well, that was uh, pretty much a roundup on what are the issues that uh, Bangalore North faces.